Virgo, come on, love, love, loveies, what's going on? Hey, my love. Let's see what's going on in your energy, Virgo. We're just going to dive right in. Your pre your prayers on the previous video that I posted this morning. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has for you. I'm honestly picking up a lot of different energies, but the main energy I'm feeling is somebody got put back in their place. I feel like some you put somebody in their place. I feel like you came back with vengeance. This person did not expect the response that they got from you. Somebody here likes to take your kindness for weakness or think that you won't stand up for yourself when you have to. It's something like that. They they thought wrong, okay? They thought wrong. It doesn't matter what they thought. They thought wrong. And I feel like you definitely put somebody in their place, all right? And it could be somebody who thought they were going to play games with your feelings, anything like that. But let's go ahead and get into it, Virgo. This is some energy of, I feel like, and you're ignoring this person right now. I feel like this person um, had a problem with telling the truth or something like that. They thought you weren't going to say anything. They thought they were going to be able to keep getting over on you and keep lying and playing games. But they got it twisted. They got the game messed all the way up, okay? Yeah, and I feel like you could have been talking to this person about them or about, like, talking to this person about their choices and what they do like you know as you are getting to know somebody or something of that nature and i feel like like just like this card says um at the bottom of the deck i think about everything you said it haunts me you were right i'm sorry so i feel like you were right about everything you were saying about this person like how they play games the things that they have they do and things like that we've seen this energy when it said um on my other channel tarot tea with empress meek something came out saying that um, there was outside interference and there is here. So I feel like Virgo, you could probably resonate with that video if you haven't seen it. It's on our new channel. Um, but it was talking about a connection, but there's some outside interference and it seemed so good. You know, it was one of those, I guess, too good to be true type things because this is, look, and then bad company, fake love, a comic ex, gossiping, plotting, and lying. So I feel like somebody definitely was trying to plot on you and play with you. Um, this person is going to be calling you soon. You probably are trying to avoid this person. Somebody is going to be calling you back until you accept their call or calling you back to talk to you. They're not done. This person still has something to say. So I do feel that energy very strongly. Let's go ahead and see um, what kind of feelings surround this energy. Okay, we got the messages. So I'm going to go over these messages with you real quick. Then we're going to um, talk about the feelings. I can't find anyone else who can make me feel like you do, can, and did. Why? Yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. and this is a Love and War deck. This is my deck. So, if you want to purchase it, you can go to my website, closertomydestiny.com. That's the number two, okay? Just like the email. But um, let's go ahead and look at this. So, we got bad company, fake love, karmic acts, gossip in line, and plotting. I feel like all of these resonate with the person that we're speaking on today. This energy is really slick, okay? This energy is thick too. I feel like it's a it's a good person with a hurt with a black heart or something or a bruised heart, a bruised ego. It's something like that that causes this person to do careless things, okay? Um, I let my karmic destroy us. I thought they were the one. So I feel like this person could have let somebody come in between your connection or maybe while you were getting to know this person, um, for whatever reason, they let this person back in. Um, and I feel like they were playing with you. They weren't trying to be honest with you and tell you the truth about whatever was going on. Then we have, I slowly feel myself pulling away from you. I know I don't deserve you. I'm feeling heavy. And I feel like this is guilt that's weighing this person down. I feel like this person feels very guilty about their actions, about their lies. Um, and then the fact that you can read them like you knew. It's a lot of things that you were saying to this person. You were hitting the nail on the head, but they couldn't bear to admit it. You know, nobody wants to say, yeah, I'm a piece of crap, um, but I still want to date you. Like, <laughs> if they say that, you'll be gone. <laughs> so this person was holding in, like, the fact that they could be real effed up, for real. Like, they could do some effed up things, right? Still upset, ignore, I ignore your calls and instant messages. So somebody is still pissed with this person. Feel like you're not speaking to them. You didn't block them for some of you, but you're just ignoring it, all right? You want to count how many times they call and reach out. <laughs> Virgo, you gonna go bring that back up. Like, you only call twice. You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with who I want, when I want, in a relationship or not. And I feel like this is this person's energy. They just do whatever they want. They feel like it's one of these people who feel like, unless I'm married, I'm single. 
But they don't always come off like that because people aren't going to respect them the same. Some people, you know, some f females or males, they won't get because nobody wants to feel like they're a dating community, a community leader. <laughs> Let me stop. But you know what I mean? Somebody that's um, active in the community, you know, with the passions and stuff. Yeah. Um, my karmic tricked me into leaving you for them. I regret it. So I feel like this karmic person that they're dealing with tricked them. I feel like they tricked them into coming their way. They sent them nudes. They did whatever they could to interfere in this connection. So this person could be confused about starting over. This person just didn't want to be left behind. But they didn't even want this person. Okay? This person, the karmic, does not treat this person good. This person just fell for it because they want to be treated good by this person. They started getting feelings for this karmic energy. Mm-hmm. Sure did. I'm going to call you soon. I miss you. So this person is going to be calling soon. They definitely will be calling you soon. Okay. This is just all a part of love and war. Okay. That's why I made this deck. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out. I can't wait till you guys get your cards. They're actually on their way. And they look so nice. I added a couple more cards. I put my logo on there. I just had to tweak it a little bit, okay? And I had to make it a different texture so they could be good. Like, so they won't scratch so easy. The first deck that I was using is my practice deck. This is another practice deck, but this is closer to the cards that you guys are going to be getting. They look better. They're smoother. The pink is more, it's popping, you know? It looks nice. But let's go ahead and get into this energy. Let's see. Bad company, fake love. I feel like they have friends that's, have, that's advising them the wrong way. Giving them bad advice. Yeah, there's something uh, ending here. And these endings bring new beginnings. This is the death card energy, Pluto energy, okay? Um, and it says transformation. All right, so there is some type of transformation happening. I feel like this person is also going through a transformation. Okay, this person didn't expect to fall for you so quick, um, but they do care about you. Um, but at the same time, you can't trust this person because they, it seems like they have ulterior motives. Like they are listening to these people and, you know, they're clinging on to karmics and stuff like that. That's not a healthy energy for you, Virgo. Yeah, I let my karmic destroy us. I thought they were the one. And I feel like destroy you because I feel like this person lied to you about it. Yeah, and I feel like this person let this person back in and didn't think. Sabotage. They feel like they sabotage this connection with you and they know it. All right? You're not even speaking to this person. You're pissed. Some of y'all talk to them, but you, it's not the same. You're just like, I don't want to talk. You know? And they're feeling very guilty right now. They are. You de They definitely didn't see you coming. Because, Virgo, I feel like you said some things. You put this stuff into perspective, honey. I slowly feel myself pulling away from you. I know I don't deserve you feeling heavy. Detachment and cold. So this person is growing cold. Um, they don't feel like being in the caring energy right now. They feel like it's easier for them not to care so they won't get hurt. But I feel like they bought this on themselves because they were the ones playing games and lying. They really do care, you know. But at the same time, they know they were wrong. That's why they feel guilty, you know, because they know that they found a good one in you. They care about you. Still upset. I ignore your calls and instant messages. So this could be your energy toward them. Past lack suffering. Okay. So I feel like this person is 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 in lack or somebody from their past is suffering. This could be that karmic that's calling them because this card these cards can bring out karmic messages too. Um, they could be trying to resume resolve things or Something like that with the karmic or even the karmic is calling them and they're ignoring them. But um, this is somebody from the past or somebody that they were dealing with um, calling them. Also, this could represent them thinking about how they keep going through the same things. This person is not changing their energy. It's like they're still doing the same immature things and still going through the same cycles. Um, and it's just upsetting to them. So with this, I sleep with who I want when I want. The autumn card came out. And what else is this? I sleep with who I want when I want. Stability. All right. So I feel like they're thinking about their harvest. They're thinking about autumn is harvest season. So I feel like here somebody could be thinking about manifesting family, manifesting growth, manifesting a healthy union, manifesting stability. 
All right, this says stability, harmony, and an even flow, equal give and take of love and affection and emotion. All right, also somebody wants an equal give and take in the household. Like they want to make sure that their person can take care of themselves and also, you know, just not be um, depending on them to do everything. But they definitely want this integration um, and they want to see good things happen. Like they want to see good a good turnout on the things that they invest. So I feel like this person is thinking about going through a change, a transformation with this Scorpio energy. My karmic tricked me into leaving you for them. I regret it. So I feel like it was some toxicity here bound in some unhealthy patterns that this person was used to. And I feel like the person that they're dealing with, their karmic, just tricked them. They, for some way, some way this karmic reeled this person back in. Could be with the lie. Um, but whatever it was, it was something toxic that they did. Um, and I feel like this is their game of manipulation. I feel like also this person that you're dealing with, Virgo, get gets a dose of their own medicine through this karmic. Because I feel like they're very toxic at times and they do these things to people. And this karmic just does it back to them. I'm going to call you soon. I miss you for the Virgo. Let me see. It's a masculine energy. Yeah, and this person feels like it's some healing needed here. Inner child, the way this person may have been treated when they were coming up, I feel like it's just a reflection of how they treat others. You know, this person has a very dark side to them. Um, and it could it could be dangerous, you know. You have to be careful, but this person is going to be calling you. Um, forming a structure, solid foundation, forming. This person wants to build and grow and do it right. Okay, so they're thinking about everything for sure. You got them all the way together because I feel like you got them in this energy of reflection. Whatever you said to them and how you're how you're handling them right now is really working because it's making them think. It's making them regret their actions. Yeah, it's a lot of toxic habits and traits that they need to let go of. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this energy over here. But definitely um they let this karmic seep in and get in their seep in and get in their head. They're gonna be calling you very soon. Yeah, and this is somebody that you were already talking to, I believe. That's what I feel. For a lot of you, you were already talking to this person. Um, for some of you, um, you could have just started talking to this person. Spirit, show Virgo what they need to see about this energy. What's the message here for Virgos? Somebody is thinking about you very heavy. But like somebody is just resting, taking some time out. This person could be praying. But somebody is definitely thinking about you and the mistakes that they made and what they did wrong. Okay? They do have you on their mind. Yep. They're thinking about, they're also replaying the conversation that you had. They're thinking about the words that you said to them, the things that you said to them that really pierced them like it's true. All right? And they, they needed to reflect on this. And that's what they're doing. Four of Swords is talking about being in your headspace about something, contemplating. You plan things over and over in your head, just going through things, trying to understand something. Somebody's trying to figure out something. Yeah, also talks about healing. Three of, three of Swords. So this person is trying to heal their heart. This person is trying to process everything. Feel like their feelings are hurt, okay? Their feelings are hurt. This person's feelings are hurt. And I feel like that's because they're getting their karma. You reap what you sow. And I feel like this person sold some heartache. So now they're getting it back. Justice is here. A fair judgment, karmic balance. So why is justice here, spirit? They want justice because they, they feel like they have love for you. This person has started loving you. I feel like this person has Scorpio in their chart. Or this could be a Scorpio. Okay. This also could be a Libra. There's a lot of swords here. Yeah, somebody could definitely be heartbroken or not feeling well, but I feel like this person is just reflecting and in deep contemplation about you, about the situation that they're going through. This could be a fire sign also, but I feel like this person is not done. They want to talk to you. It's some questions that they have. They want to know, and they care to see beneath the veil. They want to know more, okay? This could be an air sign also, but if this is just somebody that's very intelligent, um, and very strategic. Also, this person is um, a novice. Very smart. Very witty with their words. Okay. 
Um, but then this also could represent somebody asking you questions or having a conversation with you, um, trying to bring clarity or have questions, trying to clear something up and have a greater understanding. This could be a fire sign, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. All right. But I feel like this person is thinking about coming towards you. This person wants to talk to you. They want to get together. I feel like they're passionate about you and they're not trying to take no for an answer. Okay. They definitely want to come towards you. Show me more about this Knight of Wands. Person is thinking about being in a relationship with you. Show me the King of Cups. Yeah, you make them happy. Virgo, I feel like this could be you and this King of Cups energy. You could have water in your chart. All right, but you're very loving and you make this person happy. I feel like you bring this person joy. They're coming right towards you with this wand and this Page of Swords. So they're going to talk to you. They're coming back for justice. Page of Swords to the Justice card. Knight of Wands to the King of Cups. They love you. They care about you. You're very, um, this person is very passionate about you, but they feel like you're so loving and kind. And you're so, you have this sun energy, this healing, loving, happy energy, and they love it. Okay? Show me the heartbreak. They don't want this to be a missed opportunity. Here he is. So for some of you, this is definitely a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay? And they're looking out at the future, trying to figure out what to do next, okay? Um, this person is trying to plan ahead. They're trying to process things. I feel like this person is trying to learn from their mistakes. This person could be a leader in the community. This person is um, very strong. This person could be definitely good in bed, all right? This person is, um, they have a lot of options, you know, because they're a really good catch. They're a good guy, all right, or a good female but I, I mean this could be a boss energy a female in this king of wands energy it could be um <laughs> but i feel like it's a male energy all right but i definitely see this person coming towards you they're not done talking to you they don't want this to be a missed opportunity it will break their heart they feel left out in the cold all right they don't understand what's going on they don't have the answers and they want to talk to you Okay, they want, look, they're going to come back and offer you an apology, offer you some passion. They're going to try to talk to you. Okay, um, this is good news. This is an offer of love. This person does have strong feelings for you and they're going to let you know. And this could be a female energy, but I'm feeling like this is maybe a male energy. Virgo, for my male Virgos, this could be you going towards someone. Okay, this could be you in this um, King of Wands energy. Okay. So let's take it how it resonates, guys. Yeah. But I definitely feel like there somebody definitely wants a new beginning here. We got the Page of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. And we have the Fool here. All right. And we also have the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. So Virgo, definitely there's unfinished business here. I feel like you got this person all the way together. And whatever you said to this person, it got them pulling themselves together. They're coming in to rush towards you in this Knight of Swords energy. Um, they may be fussing, but this person, um, <laughs> they may make a fuss, but they definitely want to offer you some love. They want to be in a relationship with you. This is what they're thinking about, okay? Um, they also could be out getting money or doing something about some money or being ambitious or something like that. But I feel like they're thinking about you, definitely. Um, and they're thinking about a relationship. They're gonna, They're trying to get to know you better. It looks like because this is what they inevitably want. All right, my lovies, I had to come and show you this energy. All right, because I felt it a little bit. You know, I was wondering why I'm being drawn to do Virgo's reading. So this came out. So there you go, my lovies. And Spirit wants you to know that patient, be patient. Great things take time to manifest quickly. It says trust more than you doubt. All right, so let me fix this. Patience. Great things take time to manifest quickly. Trust more than you doubt. And this will elevate you. Okay? Take you out of your emotions. Bring you more into a state of clarity where you're understanding the things that's happening and why. Okay? Let me get something else to see what you're supposed to do in this relationship. Spirit, show Virgo clear messages. What's going on here? What's Virgo's advice? Abundance, you've done the work, so abundance flows to you now. Okay, good job, Virgo. Release, wow. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So you definitely, this is, Spirit is telling you to let this person go. Let this go. 
Unless it's let go, maybe let go. It could be let go of doubt, let go of this person. Let's get one more. I'm just going to pick it off the top. Apology. So maybe let go of resentment or whatever. Um, but somebody's going to bring you an apology. They're going to really give you a sincere apology because they're thinking about this really hard. And their feelings are hurt. All right, Virgo. So expect to hear from this person. Whatever just happened, this is for whoever was talking to somebody and had a disagreement. You guys may be separating or it's some kind of friction there, okay? I love you so much. And this yes could be past energy, but whenever you get it is when you can apply it to your life. All right, Virgo. I will talk to you sooner than later. Thank you so much for being here. Book your personal reading at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. All right, Virgos. Bye, my loves.